this day is challenging me, okay? This day is challenging me on many levels and I'm like trying to stay the positive self. Everybody. As you can hear, somebody next to me is watching Vlogmas Day 1 because he hadn't had the chance to watch it. Maybe people are saying that you, you're so right about the Chanel pants. Yes. Can you believe it? I do. <laughs> it looks like a really windy day in Miami. Again, Devil Wears Prada scene. But I'm really, really excited for the breakfast. Are you? Yes. Yes? Let's sit down. Let's do it. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's start the day. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Okay, guys, it's breakfast time. We woke up, as you guys saw. We're at Sitai, gonna have breakfast, and I'm gonna do some work. Because work has to be done. Just to give you a bit of a vibe here, if you come to Miami, stay at the Sitai. It's the most beautiful place. It's just the coolest, you know? So, this is my boyfriend's chair, look. I think they went to get food. I really wanna go get food too. Guys, I am I'm starving. Someone came to visit us. Excuse me. Is Filippo your favorite? I, I'm gonna eat something from Buffet. I had porridge, but I want more. What are your plans for the day? I'm, I'm gonna see art. Yes, you? I already saw art yesterday. Oh, you, don't, you don't need to do that. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> but this is my dog. Ruth, say something. So say something. Say the something. The dogs love this. They think it's an animal. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, she was so naughty. Yes. yes. Today, my sister asked her, like, younger boy, like, were you nice or naughty this year? And he's like, mm, nice. And Rudy, where are you? Where are you? Why is your nose so pink? The buffet, the satay is literally the best. Yum. This chia looks so good. Senia, we need to have the French toast. I want French toast. Different people. This is what Senia is gonna have for breakfast. Interesting. I am gonna have oatmeal. I don't know how to pour and film, so I'm gonna have to stop for a second. Guys, look at this dog. Is this the cutest dog? Why is this dog? She has such a nice haircut. Yeah. You went to a groomer. Did you go to a groomer? Oh my god, I love you so much. Guys, I have to tell you one thing. So far, the Satai porridge is probably one of the best porridges I ever had in my life. Yurgi, I wanna try French toast. So good, like it's unreal. Really love it. How do I feel today? I feel like I'm actually really excited to go back today. I know it sounds very like weird because it's so wonderful here and I love it. Like the Satai is just another level, honestly. Love it here. It's like a little gorgeous place, but I'm so like struggling with the time zones because Every time when I wake up, I have like 60 urgent emails and WhatsApps because there's so much work going on in December. I, I was just saying that I'm kind of happy to leave Miami, but not because I don't like Miami, because uh, the time zone is killing me. The time zone. Yeah. You too? The time zone is killing you zone. from New York. Guys, we're just all saying this is the best breakfast. I just tried this piece of pancake. It's Probably even better than the one we had at Coachella. Do you remember the one at Coachella? It was so good. Senia, yeah, that's the first pancake ever. Do you so remember the Ace Hotel pancake? I never have been to the Ace Hotel. <laughs> Now I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna insert the life. footage. We arrived to breakfast and only Jürgen and I are eating. These forgetful people. Guys, we're going to see some kind of a Saint Laurent exhibition, of course, led by Filippo. What are you posting? Guys, this is uh, exclusive preview of my next Instagram story. You guys will be the first to see it. <laughs> Why are we always the slowest ones to walk? I don't know, I don't even understand. Uh, look, there's some sun like further down. It just seems so far, the sun. Filippo has a meeting in 15 minutes, so we have to like stress walk. I'm sorry, why did we not spend the whole day at the pool? It's just so good. I don't want to film people like sunbathing, but guys, this is what I need in life. Hello, Farouk is here. Hello, How are you? Good. So How nice you? to see you see. guys. So, oh, nice Farouk. To see you too. So much warmer at the beach. Is that a normal thing? So, Bestie, are you gonna miss me when you go back I miss to you so your much. New York land? I already cried at breakfast. I know. Because I was like, was I not can't. Sufficient. The tears were looking a bit dry. No, I was just. Uh, it was actually an allergy. <laughs> just kidding. Find yourself you. a friend like this. I miss you. Wow, life, guys. Guys, life without Tamara is very hard. I couldn't agree more. Filippo knows it. That's why people are so addicted to you. Yep, I mean, thanks. That's why 
everybody is so on your, your ass, you know? And everybody <laughs> wants to hang out with you all the time. So popular, right? Yeah. Look at her, look at Whoa. her! This is the best! Whoa. She's thinking, what is this floor? I, I just, it? baby, I miss the days when you, we lived close to these guys. Yeah. And we do these kind of stupid things yeah. that don't make sense. We walk when I have to leave in two hours to the airport. You know, I'm just thinking how last year I also left before you and like how crazy it kind of repeats. It's here, right? The Madonna exhibition. Let's see what's inside. It looks very Saint Laurent, like very cool. Now Filippo is filming, but I'm giving you the audio description, which is actually quite useful. Guys, unfortunately, I will not be seeing the Saint Laurent exhibition because it opens at three. I have to leave to the airport at two, so. But look how cool it looks. Very cool. I love yeah, this. Super uh, cool. I love the exterior. Anyway, thank you. You're leaving. You're love you. I have so much work to do. Tell us what you are. What you have. To do. I better not. It's just gonna give me anxiety. No, it's good. You can trust. Yes. Okay. So the to... most, the number one priority. First of all, my number one priority that I just. How do you know what your priority is? Because I am very good at setting priorities, and it takes practice. Must be like... nice without ADHD. Ah. So first of all, you start like this. You ask yourself, do I have any deadlines? Oh. Do I have any deadlines? Let me think, yes. So today, at certain time, my video needs to go live oh. at 8 p.m. So I need to make sure that everything is set because that's the uttermost priority. You kind of have to make sure that everything is fixed because that's the closest deadline. Then you go to the next deadline. Okay, I don't know why I look like this. It is what it is and why is there that flashing that will annoy you guys, I know you. The hat is courtesy of Miami weather. It's just crazy, but I am feeling, wow. I just, I feel a bit like this, this same kind of storm is going on in my head because there's so much to think. It's just very like, intense and when you're like in a sunny beach environment it's very hard to kind of fulfill all the things that you need to fulfill so yeah one thing at a time i need to leave to the airport in one hour i need to shoot at least one picture i haven't even shot one piece of content while i'm in miami isn't that crazy but i was not feeling it and i don't like to force uh, content that i don't feel i like to create content that i really feel like i very often go to places and i don't create any content because i feel like it has to come from a very genuine space and i like to share content with you guys that i like to share so yeah so next thing packing doing that one picture that i need to do heading to the airport flying to london and that's it let me know how that sounds guys i'm just packing what why are you looking at me like that hey because uh, you're doing a video crying yes yeah, because i'm very sad i'll leave you it's okay baby you're not leaving me you're leaving my enemy I'm I mean, really, I'm never really sad to leave you. Wait, unless you are leaving. I'm always so happy to be alone. But what do you mean? Are you leaving me? No? Ah, uh -huh. so why do you say I'm Just leaving? Just for two days. You're leaving Miami without me. It's different. Because if you say I'm leaving you, then, uh, then we might say what, what happened. What happened is that I have to catch a flight. Well, which day are you coming? I miss you two days. I'm wearing my new t-shirt. And we have matching now, come. Yes! So you can see your stool. Yeah, but maybe... No, it doesn't matter. You don't need to show the face if you feel like... Mm. Yes, you see, we're matching now. We love you so much. Oh, I love you more. Yeah. Let's pack. Okay. I am gonna see you next time at the airport. We have to go. Guys, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Wait, I should take the earphones off. When I have earphones on, I always lose perspective of how loud I'm talking. And then I basically, I feel like I'm also kind of like still learning a few things that as you guys said, like I need to work on the focus. I need to work, like I kind of try to get the sound as good as I possibly can. So I really hope you can see some effort on your side too. Let me know. What an emotional roller coaster of a day. It started like a bit like, you know, jet lag and stuff. Then I continued being really happy, like with my boyfriend and my friends. And then I ended up like a little bit in tears. I was feeling very overwhelmed and 
more so I keep saying this like I struggle when the month is so busy and I go this side of the world where we are now like six hours behind I felt a little bit like I wake up to so many things but I want to enjoy life at the same time and because I wake up even if I wake up at 7 a.m. it's already like 1 p.m. in Europe you know so it's quite tricky but on top of that I really like I haven't seen my boyfriend for only like a few days but I just wanted to enjoy a little bit more time with him that was the real kind of main thing however we are gonna have like a real nice long few days together as soon as he's back from Miami I have so when I come back from Miami I'm gonna be in Milan for like two days then I have to go to London and then I go back Milan to spend time with him then we're going to mountains but I mean it's just the whole actually also like one other thing that is kind of like happening now is I don't know I think I'm like confused you know like there's like vlogmas and there's like people and I'm I try to give like so much energy to people while I'm with them but sometimes it's just not really possible with all the demand from all the things that I have committed to. Does that make sense? I hope it does but I also want to say that I'm not complaining because I feel very blessed and very happy and lucky. I just wanted to tell you how I feel but I don't want to complain about it because I think that I have a lot to be grateful for and I am so grateful for all the incredible things that I get to do so it's really really nice. Now we're gonna get on the plane. How am I gonna do this? This one thing I don't understand this day because basically it's like it's like 4 p.m but when I get on the plane I'm gonna land and it's gonna be tomorrow. So this day is like very short, which bothers me a little bit. Let's see, I need to I need to figure it out. I wanna give you a little update of everything that's gonna take place now that I have my calendar in front of me. So it's 3.33, we're taking a flight at 5.05 in an hour and a half. And then I'm landing in London, 6.30 a.m., okay? So basically, I need to fall asleep the moment I get on the plane, and I need to sleep until 12. It's a 10 hour, it's probably like not less because we're flying with tailwind. So the flight will be less shorter than the flight when we're arriving here. So it'll probably be like 9 hour flight ish. And then at 6 30 a.m. when I arrive, I, I should have had like a full night of sleep, right? Because it's a new day. So from when I get on the plane, when I get out, there is not gonna be ending of vlogmas. So I didn't really think this through very well. I should have vlogged way more in the morning, but I was not organized, which is quite unlike me. Anyway, tomorrow, then we land at 6.30, and then we have, oh, we're our layover. Yeah, we're our layover. So we arrive in Milan, like at 1 p.m. basically, I think, let's check. Tomorrow's day is going to be, you know, one of those days. Yeah, 1.30 I land in Milan, at 2 I'll be at home, hopefully. So dear vuole, as Italians say, or in Serbian we say Akovogda. And then I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think. I'm going to stay at home, I'm going to cook, I'm going to unpack and talk to you guys. I might just kind of like, you know, spend the day at home, try and charge my own personal batteries, watch something cozy, and put like a little projector, a little Harry Potter session, or I do some kind of, if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below so that I can actually have a better idea. Guys, I decided to leave the lounge because I'm actually really craving something sweet and there's nothing, I couldn't find anything. So we're quickly gonna grab my stuff. Here we go, my boyfriend told me that I should not be overfilling this Birkin, but I really love this kind of look. It looks a little bit, you know, like loved and worn. My flight, I don't know, it's so annoying because it goes in an alphabetical order. So you can see even the flights that are like at 9 p.m. But let's just go down to the standard area. Here we go, a bit of airport vibes. So you guys can see what's good at the Miami airport. Don't really remember flying from here because I never flew internationally. Uh, no, I have. I thought I only went domestic. First, okay, I can see like a snack shop, but we need to understand also where's my flight departing from. Wow, honestly, also never been at the airport where you cannot really find the gate um, screen. It's so far down there, so I have to walk up there. Here we go, London 505 E24, I think it's that way. Let's see. The gentleman that was checking me in told me that it's like a good 15 minute walk from the lounge to the gate. So I'm ready to walk. It's like a little workout before going to bed, but I definitely want something sweet because I know that if I have something really sweet, I'll have a bit of a sugar coma. And then hopefully I will wake up in London. You see how I strategize my sleep 
The only thing is, it says that all the dining is at D, and I need to go to E. Do you think there'll be some snacks at E? Shall we risk it? Let's risk it, because I'm not going back. I haven't shown you my travel outfit of the day, so I'm traveling in my New Balance 550s. I got the Duro, is it gala pants or guy? I think it's gala pants. They are just the comfiest. It's like tracksuit, but it's not a tracksuit because it's quite, I don't know, like the way that they just like sit on your body is amazing. Obviously, here's my hand luggage. On top, I got, as you could have seen, I have this Desetai hat. I love it. It's the collaboration with Palm Angels and I really love, 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 love this fit of the hat. It's just so nice. I got my YSL jacket because when I land, it will be so cold. But also airports are air conditioned. I have underneath Chrome Hearts new hoodie and Chrome Hearts new t-shirt that you could have seen. And then there's me in like three jackets and other people in t-shirts at the airport. Like to be warm. Let's see, Terminal E, dining. It looks very limited, <laughs> let's just say that. But I'll be okay. It says, you see, very limited on top, but on bottom could be more. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, finally, something positive. <laughs> Let's see what snacks we're gonna get. I do love lint chocolate, though we just lost Serbia, just well, lost from Switzerland, so might have to skip them today, you know? <laughs> just kidding. To all of my Swiss followers, I mean, ah, uh, Lind or white chocolate is basically my one of my favorites. Let's see what's up here. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of M&Ms. Philip always travels with M&Ms. Should I get maybe a mix of all? This is good, huh? Looks good. This day is challenging me, okay? This day is challenging me on many levels, and I'm like trying to stay the positive self but i will succeed because my power of my mind is way stronger basically i could not buy chocolates i picked them i queued it was my turn she's like where are you flying to i was like london and the lady was like no london is closed you cannot uh, anymore buy chocolates for london and i was like why she said because you know we need to bring it to the gate and it's too late you need to be already boarding the flight but don't worry you can buy somewhere else maybe i was like oh that's very helpful no, I mean, obviously, it's not our fault, it's my fault. I kept like waiting forever to leave the lounge, should have left earlier, and now it is what it is. I'll just try to kind of rely on British Airways to have some really yummy snacks on board. Okay, guys, I'm on a plane. I got Starburst because that was like the only thing close to the gate that I could buy something sweet, and I actually really like it, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna live with that. My phone died. I'm trying to charge it, but... Good old iPhone. And then, yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can watch something before I fall asleep. Guys, I realize this video is going to be extremely, extremely short and boring. And I always want to add some value or tell you something that I think could be important. So I am going to, since right now there's not really anything to vlog, I'm gonna go and sleep. But when I wake up, I will start a new vlog but I will make sure that I film something that I think helps me when I have a day like I'm having today when I feel really a bit shaky, whether there is a reason or there isn't a reason and how I help myself because I think that we all end up on that road which is sometimes a little bit more difficult, sometimes for no reason, sometimes with a valid reason, but what matters the most is how we get ourselves back on the good road something that I would like to talk to you about. Good morning guys. Good morning London. Look at us. We made it to the other side of the world. It's actually um, 7.54 full and I managed to sleep all the way from Miami to London. Very proud of my sleeping skills. But hopefully you can hear me because there's something really important that I would like to tell you in order to end this video today. As you could have probably seen on the plane, I was showing a TED talk. It's one of the TEDx Uni TED talks that I really wanted to recommend you guys to watch. I will leave a link of that TED talk in the description box. I have so many TED talks that I really, really love. And this is one of, I would say, top five. It's from Dr. Ahmed Soud. He is 
a professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic. And he came from India to US thinking, well, he, he came to become a cancer specialist, but he actually changed his career path because he understood how unhappy people are also in the Western world, or actually even more so, I would say, from my experience when I went to East Side. And the reason why I actually wanted to finish this video today is like, first of all, I would like to make a disclaimer that obviously this probably does not apply to anybody that is like suffering with depression, any, any kind of like mood disorders or any type of conditions that would affect your mood. This kind of applies to people that just sometimes feel overwhelmed with life, stressed, anxiety, with all of the things, deadlines and you know like everyday life things that make our mood swings. So like for example, yesterday I was feeling a little bit under the weather. Well, it should be in this vlog. And it will be in this vlog, but it's 7 a.m. and I'm gonna start the next day of Vlogmas in a second. But I was feeling really, I would say like anxious and stressed and overwhelmed and I had to leave and I didn't want to leave and I, and, and there was not really a particular reason or I would say like, you know, to be so stressed or I'm not very proud of that. But sometimes as humans, we do go through different moods, right? And I wanted to show you this is one of my tricks that I use, one of many. But one of my tricks when I go through a mood swing or through a moment of like being down to actually um, help it. And I'm not gonna take any credit for it because it's completely Dr. Amit Sood's technique. It's based a little bit on gratitude, but also on like connecting to deeper meanings and what's really important in life and forgetting those kind of like deadline stresses. So I recommend you to go and look at his TED talk. He talks about like, it takes two minutes, you need to close your eyes and you need to think of five people. The first person you think of is someone that is very, very important for you in your life. You close your eyes, you think of that person, you think of different moments in life that you've been through and you express your gratitude to them. Then you think, of a person that you've known for a very long time that has been there for you. You think of like a first memory of them. You then look at them and you say, thank you. Then you think of a person that you love very much. You close your eyes, of course, still. You imagine their eye color very vividly and you express your gratitude. Then you think of yourself when you were eight years old and the hairstyle that you had. You close your eyes, you express your gratitude and so on. And then at the end, Every time that I do this like two minute exercise, I feel so much better, so much more grounded and so much more connected to what's really important in life. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but we all have bad days here and there, emotional or not, but I just thought it was something that I wanted to share with you. So on that note, I'm gonna finish the vlog here because we're in London and because we need to start Lockmas number six already. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.